Americans, it's lovely to be among you. I'm Kiwi. I'm Kiwi, yeah. And it's true what a man said. I was only looking after our money. And this awful situation has developed that I have to face when I go back to Auckland next week. I really need to make a good impression on that first day. Because my lawyers told me I don't have a very strong case. And he said if the jury does find me guilty, I could go to jail for five years. And if that happens, it means I, I wouldn't get out until 2020. I could be dead of old age by then. Oh, this is so unfair. All I was doing was looking after our money and the New Zealand government is charging me with tax evasion. And none of this would have, ha would have happened if it hadn't been for my husband. It was his idea that I'd do the bookkeeping for our business, not mine. I didn't want to do it. When he asked me, he said, Max, that's what he calls me, we own the business, you're the wife, the wife often does the bookkeeping in the business, you do the bookkeeping. And I said, oh. I don't really want to do that, dear. I said, I've got 13 committees. I'm very busy. And then he persuaded me and he said, look, you've always been good with money and there's a lot, not a lot to do. And he said, just fit it all in around your, your committee work. He said, you'll be fine. So I'm a good wife. I began doing the bookkeeping for our business. And I found out two things very swiftly. Number one, that our business was making a good profit. But number two, that the New Zealand government was getting most of it in taxes. I was paying thousands of dollars every few months. In New Zealand, we have 15% GST on everything we buy. There's PAYE for the staff, there's French benefit tax for the cars. There's an awful provisional tax that I have to pay this year, all businesses do, for a profit they, the tax department, think I'm going to make next year. In other words, they were getting all of our money. And I decided, I, I, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I'm the one who needs to decide how much tax I pay. Not them. Well, I know what I can afford. They don't know that. So I decided, I'm going to stop this. So I did. <laughs> I, I developed a new way of doing the bookkeeping. In New Zealand, every three months, a business owner has to total up all the costs of the business and then all of the income from the business, from the revenue of sales and service, etc., and put it on a form and give it to our accountant. So I started adding up all our costs and putting it on the form. But when I added up the revenue, when I had the total, I shifted the decimal point one space to the left and suddenly everything changed. Hundreds of thousands of dollars became just tens of thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars more or less disappeared and I sent it off and the accountant never queried it and it worked because during the following year, our taxes went from thousands of dollars every few months to just a couple of hundred every now and then. Now that I can afford. Do you know I saved so much money over the following year, I was able to open a special bank account just for me. And I called it Maxine's Tax Savings Discount. And by the end of last year, I had a four-figure sum in the bank. <coughs> oh, and I bought these. And they are real. They're not cheap. So I was very happy, but I, in November last year, our accountant suddenly appeared on our back doorstep one night in a very unhappy condition, telling us that the tax department had been sending him some worrying queries and that he wanted to have a look at my books. So I got them out, both sets, and I showed them to him. And I told him about the thousands of dollars that I'd saved on our company in taxes over the previous year. And, and he wasn't even very pleased. And nor was my husband. In fact, they said things to me that I couldn't repeat here. 
And they wanted me to draw all my hard-earned savings out of my bank account and give it back to the government, to the tax department. Well, of course I refused. But would they listen? Uh -huh. In the end, after hours of arguing, our accountant began to do a very strange thing. He started banging his own head on my wall. You know, I, I really don't understand how you men think. You guys aren't getting this, are you? <laughs> Maybe you don't understand Kiwi humor. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm going to stop for a minute. I came second to New Zealand humorous speech competition with this, and not one of you have even smiled. I feel like I've been don't, smiling quite a bit. Don't, don't you? Do you like your tax department? <coughs> Nobody likes the IRS. Oh, oh, okay. So where was I? Right, so the whole thing begins when I go home to Auckland next week and I have to start facing this situation. And it really couldn't have happened at a worse time, you know. Because the president of my most favorite committee she has just asked me if I would like to be treasurer. And if she <laughs> finds out about this, well, I'm going to be screwed. And that's not swearing. I mean, you know, like a nut and a bolt. I suppose I could tell you more, but there's not much point. But I really dread it. Because I can just imagine on the first day when I come out of the court case, there's going to be newspaper people and they're going to be taking photographs and taking films and everyone's going to know what I've done. My name is going to be all over the news. It might even be on the news on TV. I wonder which channel. <laughs> Thank you so much.